Welcome to Aptitude Destination. Please pause the video and read the question completely. Given that A can do a piece of work in 8 days, B in 16 days and C in 12 days. Let's solve this in units method. So let's take the LCM of 8, 16 and 12. LCM of 8, 16 and 12 is 48. So now let's consider the work is of 48 units. From this we can easily find out how many units each one will complete in a single day. So if A takes 8 days to complete 48 units of work, it is clear that A can complete 6 units of work in a single day. This can be found out by dividing 48 by 8. So in a single day, A will complete 6 units of work. Similarly, B takes 16 days to complete 48 units of work, which means in a single day, B can complete 48 by 16, that is 3 units of work. Similarly for C, C takes 12 days to complete 48 units of work, which means in a day, C can complete 48 by 12, that is 4 units of work. Now it's given that A works on Monday, B alone works on Tuesday, C alone works on Wednesday and A alone works on Thursday and so on. Now we know that A completes 6 units per day so Monday A would have completed 6 units out of the 48 total units. On Tuesday B will work alone and complete the next 3 units. And on Wednesday, C would work alone and complete the next 4 units. So for now, a total of 13 units has already been completed out of the 48 units. This process will keep repeating until all the 48 units are completed. So the remaining units of work is 48 minus 13, that is 35. Continuing with the process, on the Thursday, A would complete 6 units of the work. Now the remaining units of work is 29. On Friday, B would complete the next 3 units. On Saturday, C would complete the next 4 units. On Sunday, A would complete the next 6 units. Monday, B would complete the next 3 units. Tuesday, C would complete the next 4 units. Wednesday, A would complete the next 6 units, which leaves us with only 3 units remaining out of the whole work, which will be completed by B on the Thursday. With this we can say that the first statement is right because the work is getting completed on a Thursday. The second statement says the work will be finished in 10 days. So let's calculate the number of days. We know that the work was started on the previous Monday. Therefore one week has already passed and then the next Thursday was the end of the work. Which gives us a total of 7 plus 4 that is 11 days. So statement 2 is wrong. Therefore option A is the right answer.